On virtually every front, President Obama is trying to tackle the country's economic problems. He passed his $787 billion stimulus package last month, proposed his $75 billion plan to limit home foreclosures this week, provided for up to $750 billion in additional bank bailout funds in his new budget, and he's proposing to expand health care as well. It's an ambitious agenda, but is it realistic? Presidential historian Douglas Brinkley joins us tonight from New Orleans. Doug, good to see you. A simple question to start. Is this too much and is it too soon? Well, it's, I don't think it's too much and I don't think it's too soon. There may be a problem of packaging it. You know, the media has been looking for what is all this new federal expenditures. Is it a new, new deal? Is it a great society? Um, and I think the Obama administration hasn't packaged it in a way that the American people understand what's really being asked of them. It's a lot of money going in a lot of directions quickly. And I think Obama's correct that we need to do big things. But I think he needs to put a bow on it, package it, and sell it to the American people in a little more historic way, put a marker in the ground. Does he need a name like the New Deal or the Great Society? I think it would be very helpful. Right now, you know, the, the buzzwords of our era are, um, you know, bailout and downsizing. So wouldn't it be nice to have something that we're for, an optimistic program, not just to keep saying, gosh, we've got to get out of this jam and here's what I'm doing, but lead us into the future in a big, bold way. That's what Theodore Roosevelt would have done. That's what FDR did with the New Deal. And I think Obama's lurching in that direction, but I think the salesmanship has to be a little better. He was terrific at the State of the Union. He's terrific when he travels the country. Sometimes, though, he seems to be getting trapped into uh, relations with Congress in a way that seems to be limiting his appeal somewhat. And I would take his case directly to the people and go big and talk big and package it with a with a rubric. Douglas Brinkley joining us tonight from New Orleans. Doug, thank you.